What's up, Metalheads? Welcome to the Christian Metalhead Show. And this week we have very special guests, and it is a very special uh, episode. This week is our first band interview, and I'm really excited about it. It was we weren't able to do like a face-to-face -face sort of thing, but um, yeah, we're going to do an interview today. And today's special guest is Analyze Within. I just wanted to thank Analyze Within for being a part of the show. It's so cool that you guys were open to doing this. This is going to be a lot of fun. So to all of my viewers, guys, let's give Analyze Within a great big welcome to the Brotherhood. Roll the intro. Hi, I'm Brandon, this is Daniel, and this is Danny. And we're Analyze Within, and you're watching the Christian Metalhead Show. to the interview. Analyze Within, thanks again for joining me on the show. The first question I have for you guys is, how did you guys first get started? Well, I first started Analyzed Within when I was a teenager. Um, I just was wanting to start up a second YouTube channel for myself, and I wanted a moniker to have for just my own solo projects. I, I didn't want it to be under Brandon Birch. I wanted a cool name to go under, so uh, I just picked Analyzed Within, and I just kind of started up my YouTube channel, started posting every Saturday just uh, short projects and uh, music that I was working on at the time. That is awesome, Brandon. And you know, that's kind of cool because like, that's how this channel kind of started. I started it out like doing my, just kind of my music projects and then it kind of evolved into like sharing Christian male music and stuff like that. But that's awesome. So going back to your band name, where did you get like your idea for your band name? Was it like inspired by like something biblical or just, you know, just whatever? Analyzed Within came from the idea of, I'm a very analytical person, um, so I kind of feel like that everything that I think is analyzed within, but there's also a parallel to that. Um, being a Christian, I have the Holy Spirit within me, who is also analyzing me within, so parallelism. Oh, I get it. So that's kind of cool, like, you're like, like to analyze stuff, but also like, like you said, like the Holy Spirit's analyzing us from within. That's really cool. So what are some of the struggles that you guys have like faced as a band? Distance. Yeah, I am I live an hour away from, from you. Mm -hmm. and, um, roughly. Yeah. Roughly an hour. And two hours from me. So I actually have to go to his place so that we can go to your place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Our schedules, our work schedules, our you know, our personal life, we, we, we have different things going on at different times. So mm -hmm. right now we we really just have one day every two weeks. Every two weeks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, with my schedule it's work eight, work eight days in a row. So yeah, I definitely feel like distance is kind of a difficult issue for like a lot of people, like who are in bands or like wanting to start bands. At one point, I was trying to start a band and like distance was kind of like the main thing keeping that from happening but um, I'm sure that's pretty rough and we the Brotherhood got you guys and we'll be praying for you guys to be able to make the band thing work and to keep going okay so I know there was kind of a point where you guys like sort of disappeared for a while and you like recently you know got back together and like kind of got a new lineup and stuff but like what was going on during that time of like when you guys kind of disappeared? Uh, just a combination of all of what we mentioned previously about our schedules, time, distance, like all that combined kind of made us just fizzle out so to say. Yeah I could see where that might be kind of rough having to deal with that but I'm really glad that you guys are back. Uh, next question, what is your like overall goal as a band? Because I know like some bands kind of just start out, you know, just for a fun thing, and then, you know, it becomes bigger. 
just kind of was wondering what your overall goal was, or if you had one. I don't know if we necessarily have, as of now, discussed maybe the overall goal. Right now, we're just having a lot of fun, and we just want to reach people for Christ and just do really cool music. And I mean, I guess if it turns into something, awesome. Um, I don't know, guys, do you have any other thoughts of what, you know, we really haven't talked about it, personally. Well, I mean, I agree, it's like when you say reaching out, you know, mm -hmm. it's Music is a really, it's a, it's a special thing. It, it really touches people's hearts, uh, or it can, at least. And, and I think this is a, a really good way. I think what, you know, the lyrics and the music, people get emotionally attached, and it's it's something that people, especially in this genre of music, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's pretty important in their lives. At least it's important to mine, certainly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's, it's good to reach out to, to people that need to hear certain things, and that's, I mean... Yeah. And, and metal has a way of, of, of just, you know, Grab, grab, grabbing in the heart, you know, it's just, it, it's, it can be really, um, intense. Ha, yeah, intense, yeah, I mean, because you can communicate so much with metal that you just can't with other genres, just some right. deep stuff. Right. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Um, I know that a lot of the songs that have helped me through some of the hard times have been, you know, metal songs, because it seems like they're more genuine, they're more real. The feelings that, feelings and emotions that people put into the songs, it's like, it's like you can relate to that. So, I mean, that's, I, I think that's what our goal is, is to be able to be able, to be able to connect with other people mm -hmm. on that level. Some, I mean, some, some lyrics, if sung honestly, have to be screamed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. That's pretty awesome. And you guys are kind of just, you know, doing it for the fun of it. Like, I, I like to produce music as well. And, you know, there's just something about making music that's just, you know, awesome, especially like once you finish it and you're just listening to it, it's like, I don't know how to describe that feeling, but, um, yeah, also like you guys said, connecting with people and just inspiring people with your music. I totally agree with you guys, like, metal music is like so relatable, it's like so real, like, it's just genuine and passionate, like, that's why I like metal music so much, it's just so much more passion and feeling. And I definitely agree with you, Danny, about how some lyrics just have to be screamed. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you on that. Some lyrics definitely have to be screamed. Are you guys like planning on releasing an album? Or, I know you guys have been posting some studio vlogs and stuff, so I was curious if you were just working on an album, or like, uh, maybe like an EP or something, or just like a single. Uh, I was just curious about that. We actually have released an album. Um, it was at the time just me and Daniel um, I did guitars and all the production, and he did drums. Um, but right now we're working on an EP, um, and today, uh, as as of uh, this interview, we we've been recording um, some vocals with Danny today in the studio because he's he's our screen vocalist. So um, that's what we've been working on currently. I'm really excited. To yeah, yeah. I I really had no idea how much Danny could scream. Like, like the level that he's at is just incredible. It's it, like for him, for this to be his first recording session, <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. Like he was very flexible. His range is incredible. I mean, mm -hmm. what what more can you ask for? And and a screamer and and. Yeah, and, 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 he, and he, he'd be like, after a take, he's like, oh, no, was that good? I'm like, dude, that was awesome. Like, what are you saying? Right. And he's like, no, 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 let, let me try it again. I can make it better. Yeah. So, I mean, hey. Awesome. Pretty sure I have that album, like, uh, downloaded in my library or something somewhere. It wasn't, like, Free Fall or something like that, I think. But, anyways, that's awesome that you guys are working on a new EP. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear Danny screaming. I did see one of you guys' studio vlogs of Danny screaming and it sounded pretty brutal. So keep at it, guys. Can't wait to hear your new music. Uh, next question. I was just kind of curious, like, what are some of you guys' influences, like, either as a band or for, like, each member? I was just curious about your influences. Well, as a guitarist, I have so many influences, um, but just to name a few, Era, Modern Day Babylon, um... Andy James, Paul Wardingham, Intervals, or Aaron Marshall, if you prefer. So many. Yeah. Well, as a drummer, um, gosh, I have so many influences to pull from. Um, 
I know when I first started, as far as like the heavier genres, um, The Rev from Avenged Sevenfold was like my number one influence. Um, the song Almost Easy is what got me started on doing heavier stuff. Because uh, before, um, n not that this band isn't as heavy, but you know, before it was like Skillet, Red, bands like that. But whenever I ventured off into like Avenged Sevenfold, Bullet for My Valentine, um, All That Remains, uh, here recently, Trivium, um, Alex Bent. He's been a huge influence. Um, and then as far as other artists go, like solo artists, um, Luke Holland is a big one, Matt McGuire, um, and of course, you know, the, the older drummers like Benny Grimm, Neil Peart, um, Mike Portnoy, definitely. Well, I guess my first influence was probably All That Remains. Um, just the intensity of, of Phil's screams and, and just the music in general, really, which was, was really heavy and stuff that I felt like I needed in my life. Um, and then I went to Flyleaf. Um, just, I, I really liked the message that Flyleaf brought and, and even Lacey's vocals, when, when she screams, it's just, it, it hits hard. It, it really hits yes. really hard coming from a, you know, a, female, a female vocalist. It's just really intense. Um, and then I've moved on also to, uh, well, the, the Devil Wears Prada is also really intense. It, it, they also hit really hard and, and it just it feels really genuine. It doesn't feel much like a, like a, like a safe recording. It's just, it feels like a really hard performance. And um, Era is another really good. It just, yes. It, it, <laughs> yeah. I don't, some, I just don't get it. I don't understand how Jesse's just, he's he otherworldly. Yeah, De honestly. Jesse's just Jesse. Yeah, I mean, there's no way to explain yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and to play lead guitar at the same time while you're singing. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yes. what I could hope to do one day. The guy came from another planet. Yeah. There, that's the only explanation. It had to be. It had to be. That's awesome. There's many bands and artists that I recognize and actually have been influences for me as well, like Andy James. He's an amazing guitarist. Um, next question. If you had like one statement to describe your band's sound, like what would it be? Do you guys like stick to a certain sound? I know like when I found out about you guys, um, you know, I was looking for jam bands. But yeah, like what would you say is your sound? Well, we, we don't really have um, a specific sound, so what'd you call it? The just. A little of this, a little of that. Mutts. Yeah, mutts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're, 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 we're the metal mutts. mutts. Yeah, <laughs> metal mutts. I, I, like, I like to change a lot between projects. Um, I, I, don't, I don't like to stick to one sound. We're not like the gent band, or we're not like the progressive metal band, or the power metal, or what. I mean, we're, we do all kinds of stuff. So basically, fans can just come to expect for every project, practically every song, um, to be different in some way. Yeah, there's a little bit for everybody. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I can I enjoy bands that kind of, you know, don't necessarily always stick to like a, like a certain cookie cutter mold. I, don't, I just like to enjoy hearing something different from like the same band, but also like I enjoy hearing like the, sort of like. That whatever you know, just that sound that you know is that band, but also like, you know, when you can take like something that really defines your band and still venture out and people still know it's like your music that's like when it's awesome do any of you guys have like cool stage names or like if you don't what would your stage name be well being as we've never actually played on stage i don't know if we um really have a stage name um but i uh, guess some of us haven't played on stage okay fair enough so you so you yeah okay well some of us have played on <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what, what, what my stage name would be. Um, you'd probably have to do something with my beard, I don't know, because everybody talks about my beard on my personal YouTube channel, so. Um, John Lennon, probably. Yeah, especially, or Jesus, back when, when, when I had the long <laughs> hair and the, <laughs> so John Lennon or beard, Brett, or <laughs> John Lennon or, or Jesus. <laughs> It's quite, a, it's quite a leap there. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Complete opposite. Just, I don't know, what about you? <laughs> Me? Um, I, I really don't know. Hey, you. That's usually what I go by. Hey, you. Yeah, it's like, hey, you. Turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being so hard. <laughs> or the little, the, the little drummer boy. A little drummer boy. Well, there you go. Little. The, the li little. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Danny? 
I, I, I don't know. What would you want for your stage name to be I, if I, you had to give be given one? I have no. I, I would guess that it would probably be the guy that screams. The guy that that screams. one guy that that one guy that screams all the time. Yeah. I don't know. You know what? There's really one. Just just only one way to find out. We just get up on stage and do our thing. Yeah. Dude, Brandon, you should totally grow your hair out again. You could be like casted as Jesus in a movie or something. That'd be awesome. I have a lot of people that say that I would look like him if I had a beard, but like I've tried growing a beard for so long and I just like, I just have these little whiskers. I'll let it grow for like a month and I'll just be kind of a little, little thing right there, patch right there. So I can't really grow a beard. <laughs> That's awesome, Daniel. I think you could totally go for the little drummer boy. That would totally work for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of think it would be something that would be easier to, you know, figure out if you actually, like, when you did start performing. I don't even know if bands really do stage names anymore. I know, like, some bands, like, back in the day had stage names and stuff. But that was just kind of a goofy question. <laughs> We're going to wrap it up with this last question. If there was one message you could give to your audience, like, what would it be? Persevere. I guess, you know, just hang in there, don't lose your faith. Um, God doesn't give up on you even if you feel like He has, He absolutely hasn't. There's always room to, you know, get back up when you're down and just never give up on, on well, on your dreams really, just persevere. Yeah, to piggyback off of that. Um, he will never give you a battle to face that he doesn't think you'll overcome. I mean, that, there's that cliche of everything happens for a reason. And, um, you know, I, I believe that. I believe that. So, you know, whatever trial or tribulation you're going through, believe that there's a reason for it. Whatever the lesson is, it's only going to make you stronger. And believe that you can overcome it. Mm -hmm. You will overcome it. Jesus does love you. I think perseverance is, you know, a pretty big thing, especially like in the Christian walk. And that's awesome that you guys, like that's kind of what you're wanting, what like message you want to give. And uh, I totally agree with you guys, just, you know, he will never let us face anything like we aren't capable of like overcoming. And, uh, you know, without the storms of life and, you know, the rain that it brings, you know, there would never be growth. So that's just kind of a part of life is dealing with the storms and the obstacles and learning how to, you know, just persevere through them. That's awesome, guys. Totally awesome. Well, Brandon, Daniel, and Danny, thank you guys so much for being a part of the Christian Metalhead Show this week. You always hold a special place in my heart for fe for being the first band willing to do an interview with me. That was really cool of you guys to do that. And uh, you guys will be in my prayers. You are part of the Brotherhood. Looking forward to hearing some of you guys' music and seeing what God does through you guys. So keep at it and keep going. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. God bless. Thanks so much for having us, Andrew. I really appreciate it. God bless. This is a pretty big milestone for this sh channel and this show. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being a part of it. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And go over and support Analyze Within. Download their music. Follow them on social media. They're an amazing band. And as you can see, real genuine and nice guys. So... Go over and support them. Thanks again, Analyze Within, Christian Metal, forever.